replacement is Artie Muller. He's the founder and, and uh, executive director of Rolling Thunder. And he wanted to do something about it. And he got together with another uh, Vietnam veteran. He's a Vietnam veteran. And together they wanted to do something to bring attention. And maybe people will listen to what we need to do about the POW MIA issue. great that the motorcycle community comes together and shows its camaraderie, its patriotism, and uh, there's a way for us to give back. It's in remembrance of our fallen brothers who have come before us, those who will come after us, and uh, it's just not a Memorial Day weekend without the rolling thunder. expensive with all of the uh, the police and the extra permits that are required so it may be the last one it's costing us about two hundred thousand dollars to do this event but uh, it's escalated to be such a, a costly event we're getting uh, not a lot of cooperation from the uh, officials of the Pentagon and we're going to just do it in a different way. We're going to do it in our own states. We're from New Jersey. Next year, 2020, on Memorial Sunday, just like we do now, but we're going to do it in our home states. 